Good afternoon, morning, or wherever you're located. Hi, everyone. I've got a piece of hair on me in a shirt. There it is. Driving me nuts. Welcome to this week's edition of Marching Through the Competition with Chatbot Builder and me, your hostess with the mostest, Kelly Mirabella, also known in the chat marketing world as Kelly Noble Mirabella. That's a whole long story. Don't worry about it. But you can just call me Kelly or Chatbot Queen. I get that a lot too. I'm here for it. Uh, yeah, I got here first. Sorry, guys. I mean, I was the first one. No, I'm just messing with you. It looks like Mira actually was the first one besides me. So welcome, everyone. Now, this is a very niche, a niche topic today. Uh, we're talking real estate. Now, if you did not watch the Ryan Baggett training on real estate, what was it, like two weeks ago, I highly recommend you use that as a compliment because he did other things than what I'm going to do. So like together, you're going to have so many things that you can do. You don't have to do all the things, but there are so many things you could do. Now, here's the other thing. Most of you, I'm going to guess, are not real estate agents, but if you are, hey, let me know in the comments. Most of you are chat automation architects. You are AI chatbot agencies. Am I right? Let me know in the chat. Um, and so my focus today is really going to be like showing you some things you can do and offer to your clients. Now, if you are a real estate agent, it's also going to give you an idea of what you could do for yourself. Or if you're a real estate agent and you watch this and you're like, this is all very cool, but I don't have time for that. Reach out to me because I have a whole crew of people in the CBB community and I'm going to hook you up with the right partner to make your chat automation dreams come true. Um, okay, so I hope to cover all the following things. I don't know if we're going to get through them all because it's my kids' spring break. And I promised them we'd be going out after lunch today. So let's see how much we can get done. I'm going to show you how to connect CBB. It's been a while since we've done a basic connect. Now, many of you are probably like, oh, Kelly, that's so easy. But you know what? I always miss the handover protocol uh, when I do tutorials. And I think it's kind of important. I mean, it's necessary. It's required for your bat to actually work correctly. So we're going to definitely cover that. Uh, we are going to connect Chatbot Builder to my brand new real estate page that I created this morning. We are going to do a comic growth tool and an open house scenario. Outside of that, man, I, there's so many things I want to do. I want to do QR codes, play with some functions, Conjunction function, what's your, anyway. Um, so we have a lot to cover today. I might not get to it all, but I promise you that, especially in terms of like the functions and stuff, Ryan did it, Ryan did it as well. So you're going to be able to watch both of those. Um, if anyone in the chat happens to have the link for the real estate live that Ryan did, I wanna say it was two weeks ago, but time flies when you're having fun. Go ahead and post it in the chat. I don't know if we have um, anyone from CBB in the, the community. I know Ryan doesn't sleep, but he a busy dude and Fridays are busy for him. Sorry, it's not even Friday. God, every day feels like Friday when your kids are on spring break. It's Thursday. Um, and I know my my friend in Fiji, Asta, be sleeping. He better be sleeping. I mean, maybe he's like Ryan and he doesn't sleep. All right, with no further ado, that got me yesterday, the handover. Yeah, like a lot of people do not realize. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Kelly. I've been in the chat marketing game since 2017, which is basically when the chat marketing game began. I am internationally known as a trainer in this space. I'm an award-winning trainer in this space. I love teaching this. Um, I was a certified uh, trainer for many chat for the duration of most of my chat automation career. In fact, so much so that I wrote and was like the creator and the face of their 2020 course. And I was also a part of their most recent course, which honestly, they need to update their course. Now, why did I move to Chatbot Builder? I mean, anyone who's used Chatbot Builder and actually given it a try over um, a legacy platform kind of finds out pretty quick. I have many videos that talk about it. I don't want to use this time to do that. But I will tell you that I've been using Chatbot Builder for less than a year, if you can believe it. So I can run into hiccups. I'm giving you like a little warning. I'm human like you. I'm not like um, like Wendy or uh, Ryan who like they literally built the system. 
I'm learning this as you are learning this as well. So there's a lot of things I know that I'm going to teach you. But if I get into a hiccup, give me some grace because I will get red and blotchy and freak out because usually I don't do builds live because my brain, I don't know if you guys do this, my brain goes like a thousand miles per, per hour. I'm like, oh, we should try this and we should do this. And I'm like, no, let's not overcomplicate it while we're live. <laughs> so I'm going to try my best, try my best not to overcomplicate it while we're live. All right. Let's jump into it. Let's just go. So <clears throat> welcome. This is uh, Chatbot Builder AI. This is the world's best AI chat automation platform. It's There's no one better. I don't care who you are. There's no one better. Okay. And you're going to find out today why. So what should we do first? We are going to connect. So I created this page this morning. It's called stellar real estate test page. It's not active with chatbots just yet because we haven't connected anything just yet. And I will give you the link once I connect it so you guys go play on it. But for now, don't play on it because it's not active. We're going to connect it. So connecting chatbot builder is as easy as one, two, three. You're going to go getting started. Um, name your chatbot. We're going to call this one stellar real estate. I thought about running it through my own account, but then I was like, the default message is going to just not work because <laughs> mine is trained on my business, not on real estate. So when you come in first and foremost, you automatically just like see this. You have the analytics. It's going to show you the channels that you're connected to up here. We're going to connect Facebook today, so you'll see how that works. And then, um, and then we'll go into our settings and we'll train our AI. Now, if you're new or you haven't used chatbot builder yet, you automatically, which you'll see when we do the, the connection to the AI, you automatically get access to OpenAI's uh, GPT 3.4 Turb 3.5 Turbo. Um, it's already in there and it's on us. It's on the CBB crew. We're paying for your credits, your tokens. So I would argue, and sometimes I do argue <laughs> with people, that about 90% of the use cases, all you need is 3.5 Turbo. I do believe and I'm talking to some of you out there watching, you might not like it. You know I give the tough love. I do believe most of you are overthinking it. I'm sorry. Uh, it's true. <laughs> um, but if you want to do some fancier stuff, you can absolutely connect your own API to uh, GPT-4. And when it becomes available, the higher levels as well. And then also Gemini. You can connect your own uh, API for that. And Gemini right now is free to get an API. So, you know, cool. And Ryan just did a training actually on how you can use it as your backup in case OpenAI like um, has status issues. It'll automatically opt for that. So that's pretty cool. We're not going to do that today. I'm not trying to repeat everything he's done. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is connect our Facebook. So we're going to click on our channel here. <clears throat> you have lots of channels, which is CBB. Facebook Messenger is the one we're going to be exploring today. <clears throat> but you could do WhatsApp, Instagram, Google My Business. I haven't seen a whole lot of legacy platforms that support Google My Business. And while I understand why to some extent, because it is kind of a pain in the butt to get the, the approvals, it wasn't that hard. I mean, it took me like a day um, just waiting for the request to go through. But there is some, some work on the user's end, so it's, it does take a little work, but it's worth it if you have retail clients, brick and mortar kind of important. Web chat, that's the easiest one, especially when you're just testing SMS, voice, telegram, email, all the goods. We're going to do Facebook Messenger. Just click on that connect button. That's it. There's me. Hi, Kelly. Don't you guys can absolutely find me on Facebook as Kelly Noble Mirabella, but don't re friend request me. I don't take friend requests anymore, but everything I post over there is public. So just follow me. Um, okay. So I don't see my page. This happens. Totally fine. We're going to click on I don't see my page. Follow these steps to solve the issue. Try again. Click continue button. When Facebook dialogue opens up. Oh, okay, cool. Let's go back. Continue. Man, this is going to happen because I'm live, right? Where are you? Let's get, we're going to have to go in and reconnect. That's okay. See, I'm already turning red. This is why you test everything first. <laughs> Hmm. I don't want to connect this page. I want to connect a different page. So we're going to have to go do some investigating. Hmm. Bear with me, friends. Again, I get nervous when things don't go my way. 
because I'm a control freak. So where are my business apps? <laughs> there it is. Okay. We're going to go to view and edit. Bah, bah, bah. I don't need any of these Instagram accounts, but I do need, oh, these are Instagram accounts. I don't want an Instagram account. Look. Where are you? Main page. Click it. Save it. Click it. Save it. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, hopefully that worked because if that doesn't work, I don't know. We're stuck. We're going to do something else today. Talk about the weather. Um, going to clear some cookies or something. Why are we not working? Oh, Ryan Baggett. I apologize. Where's Ryan Baggett when you need him? Should we go in and just make sure? I Maybe I didn't push the right save button. This is correct. This is all correct. This is correct. This is what's correct. Pages. Yep, see, I didn't save it. Where are you? Stellar restaurant demo? No. Oh, it is on there. Stellar. Yeah, it's on there. This is all good. Pages. Let's just make sure. Um, real estate test page. We got to have that. Let's make sure. We got we to gotta include all the things. Otherwise, it's not going to work. See, sometimes I go too fast for my own good. If this works, I'll tell you how I did it. Oh my gosh, seriously? I should just go through and select all the pages. Honestly, this is ridiculous. It's so much work for me. Mostly because I'm impatient. This is good, I guess, right? If you run into this problem. Can this business, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, everything's fine. Save it. Loading. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Let's just refresh. Let's do it all. You guys still with me? Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be really sad and we're going to have to do something else. I don't know what else we can do. Facebook Messenger Connect. Oh, it worked. Okay, let me show you what I did for those because I kind of ran through that fast. So if you ever run into that issue and you are an existing um, user, what you're going to do is go to your personal profile where you're kind of like the admin of all your pages, right? Your personal profile. And you're going to go down to settings and privacy settings. And that's where I came to this page here. And you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to go to do, do, do business integrations. And then you're going to find chatbot builder, go to view, edit and add, as you saw, like everywhere that you need to add it, all the pages and then click save. Cool. So now we figured it out. I guess it was a good thing so that you could see because that is a real life situation. You're all with me, right? All right. So we're going to find the page, Stellar Real Estate Test Page, and click Connect. I'd like to say it's easy as that, but obviously we had a hiccup. Real world hiccups. Like we solved it. Boom. If you got a problem, you'll, I'll solve it. All right. Um, so we're connected. So when we log in, we're going to see everything we're connected to. So I'll have messenger and all web chat let me show you as an example in my stellar media marketing i have messenger i have instagram i have business uh this google and i have web chat so whatever you're connected to you're going to oh my gosh so many test pages it's just too much stellar real estate here i am all right so welcome to my stellar real estate page we have successfully connected and now we're going to go into let's go to our settings um, now things change slightly every time I come in here, I swear, but it's pretty straightforward. For instance, like we're going to be using marketing today. It used to be called tools. So just slight changes, no big deal. So this is our back end, and here we can, you know, make our updates. For instance, my target country is the United States, especially since I build, um, real estate stuff right? It's a local business. Uh, have my time zone. It's already checking my time zone. Maybe I want a different brand color. I feel like um, Stellar is a little gold, like kind of goldish. Sure. No, you have to push the okay, but you see, I get a little ahead of myself. What's a little nice gold color? It's kind of mm, kind of brownie gold, whatever. We're not, we're not really in a big deal. Development mode is like just when you and your admins want to test, but you know, whatever, we're going for it. And this is where you would delete your account. So if you have a ton of sample accounts that are like expired, delete them. Like me, I got to go through and delete all mine. All right, save, important. 
Next up, channels. This is also where we, we just went, connected our channels. Integrations, we're gonna be there in a minute. Admin is where you can add your admins. Now you have manage admins. You can add your admins and you could say like, these are the people who can control things, right? Um, like builders and such. Now, if I go back and I say, well, what if I just want them in my inbox? We get this a lot. Like if you're doing, um, had to do this a week ago, right? Uh, if you're doing inbox teams and you just want someone who is just going to manage your comments, maybe you have a support person at customer service, just to keep an eye on things, or you want your customers to be able to see, but not like get into everything. Boom inbox teams. We give that to you. You don't have to pay extra for that. Not like some legacy platforms. <coughs> anyway, um, customizations, let's go make her pretty. Oh, we don't have to worry about translations. I don't need to worry about any of that. I mean, she looks good. And then billing, we're not going to worry about that. Okay. So friends, uh, the other thing we could do is go up here, go to my profile. Oh my gosh, so much. You know what? Let's just get to it. I don't want to overwhelm you. See how my brain goes too far ahead. I'm like, come back, Kelly. All right, so what we're going to do first is we are going to uh, do, oh, we have to do the handover protocol. Okay, so we've connected the page. See, I always skip it. That's why I wrote it down. We're going to go to the page. So let's go ahead and click on over to that page that we are managing. This is a vital step. Many people forget to do it. In fact, I actually could not figure out for the life of me why my messages were not going out when I first set up Stellar Media Marketing, my main page, to CBB. And I was like, what? I did everything. Ryan, I did everything. And I showed him my error code. And he's like, Kelly, come on. Hand over protocol. I was like, oh, duh. Duh. All right. So you're going to get here. Um, if you don't know where I am, like, let me just show you. So I'm at the page. As soon as it loads, you'll see that I'm on, like, Facebook. Oh, come on, Facebook. It's because my kids are home streaming. There we go. Okay, so this is like, I'm at my page. Where do I go now, Kelly? We're just gonna go over, like click here on this, like this guy, and then you'll see this, right? We're gonna go to settings, and then new page experience. They really make you dig. An advanced messaging. This is the place. All right, so these are our connected apps. So previously I had many chat connected. I told you I built, I used to build on that, that archaic platform. And, um, it was here. And so then we need to go here. Like if you are using Messenger or Instagram, it's going to fall here. I don't have an Instagram for this page, but it will fall here. So already because we connected this app, it added it to the white listed domain. So you really don't have to do anything there. But right here, this is the handover protocol. This is very important. Messenger receiver. We're going to click on configure. This is the primary handover. Who is the primary handling our messages? Why? friends, that's chatbot builders. We're going to say select and select chatbot builder. Boom shakalaka. All right. Just to make sure configure chatbot builder. Good. If I had an Instagram, I would do the same. And this is what I forgot to do on my own page one time. And that's no fun. All right, we don't really have to worry about any of this other stuff right now, but that, that was important. I'm glad I had it on my list. Are we all on board? Everyone's like, what? Handover protocol. All right, the next thing is we're gonna take care of our main prompt. So back to our settings, head over protocol, go girl. And we're gonna go to our integrations. Now this is where all the magic happens. I mean, there's so many things we can connect to Chatbot Builder. We are going to connect. By the way, you might not know this, um, automatically you also get a Google Voice. So like just from the get, I can put in my prompt and like start chatting with this chatbot and I could like use the little microphone and be like, yo, what's up? And it'll like talk back to me. I don't have to do 11 labs or whatever. Um, it just already does it. And there's already a template in there because Ryan hooked us all up, okay? So anyway, uh, prompt engineering is where we're going. This is where the open AI prompt engineering is. As I mentioned already, GPT 3.4 is already in there. We're gonna click, I go fast, uh, prompt engineering, edit. This is where our big, prompt is. Right now it says you are a GPT, a chat GPT, a large language model trained by open AI. Answer as concisely as possible. Whatever. We're not going to use that. Now listen, I am not going to sit here and try to do a whole entire freaking prompt with you. I already built it because this, I, I just don't have time today. And we have so many videos to show you how to do that. But essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna train my AI on one listing for now because it's for the example. But essentially in this main prompt, I may not 
uh, I may create a different, a different type of, um, actually, let's just do it. See? Oh, no, we definitely want to use the important. So this prompt that I created was for the specific listing. And actually, we can keep it. Uh, let's just do it. Um, the main, what am I doing? Oh, it's because I'm in here. Hold, please. Real estate agent is Kelly Mirabella, who has been a real estate agent for 20 years, specializing in relocation to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Okay, cool. That works. I just added a little something. Let's just go to edit. Select all. Now, um, Ryan just recently did a live on the four, five. There's five prompt engineering thingies. That's do it. Go watch it. Um, I use that kind of in here. But usually when I do my prompts, I like, who are you? You are Stella. Stella is always my assistant. You are the helpful and friendly assistant to Stel Stellar Real Estate located in Salina, Texas. Stellar Real Estate does this and this. They take care of this area. Uh, this is where I like definitely always want to include. I don't want to just say concise. Be concise. What does that mean to an AI language model? That's very subjective. You cannot be subjective with a language model, right? So I say no more than five sentences when you respond. Uh, welcome to the stunning model. Okay, so then this is our, our home. And then we also have this, let me, let's cut this. Cut it. Mm. All right, so then we talk about who the agent is, and then I have this nice little important note. Only speak on the information about, let's take the, the out, Stellar Real Estate, the listing, Salina, Texas, and the surrounding areas as it pertains to visiting or living. To speak about anything else is against company policy. Never talk about religion, politics, or anything. Anything a real estate agent is not allowed to discuss in the United States, because that's where we located. And then we're going to be like, welcome to this stunning listing. Now, in our example today, I'm just doing one listing. Obviously, if you have more listings, you're going to want to do more listing information, um, or you're going to want to use like an external pool, uh, which Ryan taught you in his training. So definitely check that out, because again, I don't want to repeat things. We're just doing what we're doing. And so in this particular lesson, I'm literally just training it on this listing. However, you'll notice that I said, that this, we are located in Salina, Texas. It knows about Salina, Texas. This is where I'm telling y'all you're overthinking. If GPT has been trained on it, and by the way, GPT 3.5 Turbo has been trained up to September, what is it, 2021, I think. Yeah, I wanna say 2021. It's been a minute since I had to say that. Um, then, then you, um, you're good. <laughs> like it's going to know that information. So I don't have to create a freaking assistant that talks about everything in Salina, everything in Prosper. You know, I don't have to do that. I don't have to talk. I don't have to give every little detail about Light Farms community if it's already known to the GPT. So like if, for instance, we had someone in the community saying, well, I need to reference like five books and like a hundred thousand words. I'm like, have the books been around a while? Because my guess is that the GPT already has knowledge of the books and the contents of those books. So you don't have to put all that in your prompt if the GPT already knows. And I'm going to prove that to you next week, by the way, <laughs> because we are going to build a crazy simple multilingual chatbot next week in my next week's training. So fast, it'll make your head spin. Um, okay, so anyway, I always want to put some kind of, you know, important, don't do this thing. And then we have information about a fictional listing I created. In fact, almost all the images I created with a AI image creator, but I just, I just pulled up something out of my imagination. So if it doesn't seem right, it's because it's all fictional and I just put it together this morning, but you'll get the idea, right? So this is all the information about the, um, about the home. Here's information about the amenities, what's included in the HOA, HOA dues, the atmosphere, a sample Q and A's, please always include these, always include sample Q and A's. And there you have it. All right. So that's, I mean, good enough if you ask me. So we're going to just uh, select all that copy. This is our knowledge base. If you want more information, that's a little slower, I guess, walking you through how to build knowledge bases, definitely go check out the five P instructional video that Ryan did. I also have a like five minute video that shows you how to build knowledge bases. It, 
it's really important that you, I didn't spend a lot of time on this one. I'm not going to lie through it together this morning. Um, if this was for a client, I would spend a lot more time. I think a lot of people, uh, one, overthink their knowledge bases and they're like, I have to create an assistant and use GPT for, don't worry, by the way, this is going to be recorded. So if you have somewhere to go, you don't have to apologize. Just come back and watch it. Um, I have to, um, you know, upload books and PDFs and I have to, I need more contacts window. And like most of the time you don't because, um, because of the, the things we already talked about. But also another issue I see is that you guys are rushing through this. They're like, I have to use, I can use AI and it's like, boom. But I'm like, you got to take time to make sure it's accurate and you're reading through it and then it makes sense and you test it because this is for your client, right? So don't speed through it either like I did. Anyway, um, this is just our basic knowledge base right here. It talks about everything we want it to know. The function that's already built in is connect to user. We'll keep it. Functions, by the way, if you're unfamiliar, are things that allow the AI to do really smart, cool stuff. Like, for instance, hopefully we'll have time to do at least one of them, um, collect lead information, like name and email and all that good stuff. All right, so let's see. More options. Uh, we're using the Turbo 16 that's built in. You can, again, add your own. I'm not going to. You can mess with these. I'm not going to right now. Continue. So um, that's our main gist, okay? Now, we have a couple of choices here. I'm going to keep it at auto GPT, which means I don't need to set up a default message. It's going to pull from my master uh, prompt, which I just added. If, for instance, I wanted to go to, um, I think it's under general, and I want to select a different default reply, then I would have to turn off auto GPT. You cannot have both running at the same time. They conflict. And actually, auto GPT wins that war no matter what. It's like rock, paper, auto GPT wins. So I'm just going to keep it here. Keep it simple. If you want to do assistance, bro, do assistance. But you have to, you know, know what you're doing. Uh, prompt templates, you could do that. I don't use those. And then functions, hopefully we will have time for those. So this is kind of the, the main gist. So now our main prompt is done. And what we're going to do now is create a comment growth tool. But before we do that, I'm going to explain what this is in the context of talking to real estate clients. Like how is this something they're going to want? How do we talk to them about this? So imagine they have a uh, listings. I mean, go to any real estate agent's website or uh, Facebook page and they're like posting listings. And usually there's like no comments on them, which is sad, but we could fix that, right? Um, what if we could post a photo or two or a couple photos, like a gallery of photos on Facebook or Instagram that show the pictures of the home? And then we have a call to action on the image as well as, you know, I didn't put it on this image today, but we certainly can create that if y'all are up for it. Um, on the post, we're like, hey, ask us anything about this home. We're going to tell you, like, boom, instant answers about this home. Holler at us. And then they're, they're commenting, and the AI is responding. And we could set up the AI to respond with, like, hey, thank you so much for your question about the HOA. Um, we we could either have the public facing comment say like maybe they're like hey how much are the hoa dues and what does it cover and you could say thank you so much for your question about the hoa and it could publicly respond with the answer the hoa is 125 dollars, and it includes these amenities or we could say thank you so much about your question about the hoa we just sent you a message with all the information and uh, you can go check that out and then we send the private message with all the answers you could go either way i personally like to give a little on the public side because I want other people to comment as well and then and like see, not go through all and see all the answers but it's up to you and you could do a little bit of both you could be like just give half the answer and then you know send the private message so this is a really powerful way of turning interested Facebook commenters or Instagram commenters into leads because we can grab their information on the back end whereas or we can send them information on the back end and we can engage with them whereas in the world of no ai chatbot you can't do that right and not only that but if you're using legacy platforms and i this is how i built for most of my chat automation career is it's rule based right so even if i could answer the questions in the comment automation it's like 
I have to personally write out randomized things. And I'm going to tell you, as a former ManyChat user, and this is the, the platform I can talk about, I can't really talk about ChatFuel and, and you know, all these other bot press or whatever, um, because I never use them because I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> but when I was using ManyChat, I, they, like, they, with their AI, the first step they took into AI is they just like basically encouraged AI to create the random messages that you would send out. But it wasn't like um, with Chatbot Builder where the AI just, you're just like, yo, just take care of it. We actually had to type out randomize. It's so stupid. It's so archaic and it can get your account in trouble, especially on high um, commented viral posts, especially on Instagram, because the algorithm meta will recognize these comments and usually it's like the same comment hey we sent you a message hey we sent you a message hey we sent you a message and it's like yo you're spamming people it's the same message it's obvious you're spamming people instead of giving really wonderfully customized personalized messages which is what we can do okay so can you see the value of this of, of this as a sales tool for I mean, real estate, restaurants, anything. Obviously, today we're talking real estate. Okay, so with that in mind, let's jump back into it. Boom. I don't know. I kind of feel like we should create a function first because what I really want to do here is I want them to comment and I want to capture. Comment to capture to customer. So let's go ahead and go to functions. Um, we're going to add a function. What is the point of this dang thing? What is it called? We're going to call it... Uh, listing lead capture okay what does it do um, allows the user to uh, sign up for hmm, our email list I guess cool uh, what what information should we collect well we should definitely collect their first name right like that's Avi first name oh man I always forget this little underscore let's do it right um, probably should get their last name it's always good to get their last name and we're gonna have last name and then add another one we definitely need their email address and then we're gonna go with email um, obviously you can ask for phone number you can ask for a lot of things what do you want what do you want to know right uh, what's important to the the client I would just caution you depending on where in the funnel they are how warm of a lead this is how much do they want it you can only ask so much. So as my husband told me, I would rather talk to a human than give my email address. It was just a thing. Um, a lot of people don't like giving their information is the moral of the story. So I try to keep it real simple. First name, last name, email, boom. And then what flow is triggered? Well, we're definitely going to have to build a flow for this. And then uh, what is the output message? So <clears throat> after the AI has captured first name, last name, email, where are they going to go? Man, we are going to overcomplicate it because we have to go build that. So let's go to uh, Chatbot Builder. I'm going to keep this one open so we can build another one. Let's just log in. <laughs> okay, you know what we're going to need? I feel like mm, there's so many ways to do this. You guys let me know. Which way do you want to do it? Should it be that they give us the information and we send it to a Google Sheet? Should it be that they give us the information and we send it to our email service provider? In my case, I use Constant Contact. What would you like to see? In the scenario with email service provider, we'll be using Zapier. So you, I'm going to take a, a breath and wait a sec to see who wants just a simple uh, contact information goes to a Google Sheet, which is a much faster process. And who wants a simple, not le a little less simple, um, Zapier integration situation? Choose your own adventure, friends. Why you do that? Janelle here wants to know, uh, will there be a replay? Yeah, because it's on YouTube. It's automatically recorded. But obviously, this is interactive. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here waiting for someone to answer my question. Uh, Google send an email oh man people want both <clears throat> let's see the next person wins next person wins cool thing about zapier or make or whatever i i use zapier i know many of you have a love-hate relationship with zapier i just use it because i've always used it and i find it very easy and i don't like learning new things plus i found that zapier sometimes has things that make does not <coughs> or padly or whatever 
So um, the cool thing about that is you can connect it to like almost any CRM. It's, it's pretty handy to know how to do that because a lot of real estate agents especially are using CRMs. Two Googles. All right, to Google, it's Google Sheets, just so that we're all on the same page. It's just a simple, and then can't talk. Let's just do it. Um, yeah, Google Sheets, that seems to be the popular one. So that's the one we're gonna do. So real quick, let's head over to Google. Let's create a sheet, really straightforward. We have to have a sheet to send the info, so let's do that. And our sheet is gonna have the information that our bot is collecting, right? So it's gonna have, uh, first of all, let's see, uh, we want, can we do date? Is that possible? I don't know, I, I've never done that. Maybe we should keep it simple today. Uh, let's do first name, last name, and email address. Let's protect this by boop, like this, and I like to you know format it because that's who I am as a human. That seems simple enough, right? Let's do uh, stellar real estate leads. All right, that's all we have to do for this part. Where'd it go? Did I hide it? Ah, either way, it's saved. Boom. And now we're going to go back over to this. Okay, so first first things first, we have to connect Google Sheets, right? So we're going to go settings. It's, it's in the integrations, all right? So let's see. Oh, is it? It is. I know it is. Google Sheets. Boom. Connect. You click the connect button. You follow the instructions. You're going to hit continue. You're going to say, heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. Okay, done. That part's done. Now we need to, remember, we need a flow. What is the purpose of the flow? Well, let's go create it. Uh, we're going to go to flows. Now, just real quick so you can see. Everyone's like, both. I don't know if we have time for both. Um, you see we have really nicely organized things already in here. That's because uh, Ryan is a gangsta and he gave us welcome messages and he gave us uh, default messages and special, there's special flows. Let's see what's in here. Generate an image, AI summary, clear and delete. Yeah, these are cool flows. Collect leads, look at that. Um, we're gonna just go to our regular flows though. So let's go back to flows. Let's create a flow because I wanna do it from scratch so you can see it. We're gonna call this flow the um, send lead info, continue. Um, okay, so when the user, the AI is going to do its part via the function. It's gonna say, hey, what's your first name, your last name, and your email so we can send you whatever we're sending them. And they will say something to the effect of, oh, hey, my name is Kelly Mirabella. And they're like, what up, Kelly? What's your email? Well, why do you need my email? Well, so we can send you this thing. But don't worry, we won't share it with anyone. The AI is going to take care of that. But once it gets all that information, it's going to save it all. And then what? And then we have to send it to the, we send them to this flow. Now this flow can be a confirmation message. This flow can be a zap to wherever, to CRM. This flow, in this case, we're going to build out a integration where it's going to send the information over to Google Sheets, and then we'll send like a little confirmation, okay? Pretty straightforward. So the first thing we're gonna do is go down here. We're gonna click on Actions. And our action, Add Content, Actions. Let's find Google Sheets, there it is. Add the content, Action. Bro, I just said Google Sheets, duh. Don't add, don't click that, we're already here. Google Sheets, click on it. All right, we want to what? Send data, which means we're just putting the data over there, which is most likely what we're going to do today. Very straightforward. Get a row, which means it's going to look up a row and bring back information. Uh, get a random row, which is going to look up random rows. So this would be good for like a rock, paper, scissors or a game or something like that or random winner. I don't know, something like that. Update a row. It's going to look up the row based off of a data point and it's going to update that row. So if I had a, my my sheet, let's say, is has a whole bunch of lead information. And they're like, hey, I want to update my email address. Or later on in another flow, we're going to ask them additional information. We want to put it on the same line. We're going to look them up based off of whatever we want to look them up, email address, whatever. And then we're going to update it. Clear row, you know, whatever. There's a lot of things here. We're going to do send data. Just keep it simple. Um, select. We have to select. It's not here. Oh, no. Let's click add new. So add what this is not <laughs> this is not how I remember it 
bro. Don't do this to me. Did they update something? Come here. Oh, never mind. Thank you. Send data. Why is it not coming up? Hold, please. I understand that flows. Let's go back to settings and make sure our integration has actually gone through. Even I make mistakes like constantly. Literally, I had a custom um, a comic grow tool that wasn't working because I didn't turn it on. Um, Google Sheets. I guess we do have to add it. All right, we're gonna. That's interesting. Okay, so it was updated. All right, so we're gonna call this uh, Stellar Real Estate Leads. And then we need to add our, boop, let's go to share. Obviously it needs to be able to um, edit. And we're gonna copy the link and bring it back. Bring it back, bring it back. There you go, continue. Okay, now we'll go back. Flows. Send lead info. Click on the Google Sheets. Click on the Google Sheets. Boom. All right, worksheet. Sheet one, custom field. First name goes to first name. Last name goes to last name. We're just piping them through. Email, email goes to email address. Save. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so the first step in this. Um, yeah, thank you, Ryan. Just figured that out. <laughs> previously, previously on Kelly's world, I didn't have to do that. Uh, so the, here we are. Although I may not have ever actually used Google Sheets in CBB. So I just learned something new today with you. All right. Thank you. Um, we're going to make this the starting step in this flow. So all we're going to do is go over to the little play button. Boom. It's now the starting step. So the very first thing when it sends is it's going to send that their information to Google Sheets. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Then we're going to say continue. Let's have them go to this message here. And we can also tag, like I love it. I love a good tag. Let's tag them. Why not? Um, it's a good way to make sure that people aren't having to go through this over and over again. Um, they've given us their info. We can tag them as a lead. Maybe they're a lead one. And then every time they come through our flow, we're like, oh, they're a lead two. You know, so we could do that. Um, I'm gonna actually skip that for now. But now you understand the the complexities of what is possible. So uh, message, let's just confirm. Now, obviously, and hopefully it's obvious, but maybe it's not. If you are doing this, you're probably going to give something. So let's say that we're going to give them, we're going to send them, um, we're going to say, oh, we'll give you, we'll, we'll like send you a, a guidebook or we'll send you whatever. So let's pretend for a section for a second that that is being done. I don't have time to do that right now, y'all. This is a sample, okay? I don't have time to create all these fictional characters. But essentially, in the real world, you wouldn't just say, hey, thanks for your information. They would be giving you information for something for them. So that could be a guide to the community. That could be listing information about similar listings. That could be, uh, you could be doing, your function could be appointment setting and they're you know, setting an appointment. Um, in this example that I'm showing you, we're keeping it very simple. I'm just say confirmed, you're in. But when you build these, you need to give them something, whatever it is that you're promising them, okay? Um, and if you want, man, I mean, have fun with it, I guess. You know, you could put an image in here. I'd like to put an image at the top. We can uh, upload an image. You can link an image. Um, oh, you know what also would be fun? Let's do a, a vid, mm, better yet. No, this is, this is not yet. Not yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. Um, let's do a GIF. I love a good GIF. If you didn't watch, I have a Giphy training where you can do custom GIFs. You know, I got custom GIFs. You rock. Let's do that one. <laughs> you rock. Thanks for your info. You're a rock star. And actually, let's put in their first name. Let's be like, um, by the way, I'm not building anything on Instagram at the moment. So please don't confuse me with your questions about Instagram. No, I'm joking. You guys can chat all you want. Uh, first name. All right. So 
in this particular case, you might notice I haven't used AI. You can absolutely use AI here. You could be like, yo, AI, say thank you for this and let them know whatever. But I'm going to keep it here because you're going to see plenty of AI today. Um, you'll notice I'm also omni-channel. That's fine. This isn't a comment uh, growth tool. We're not worried about that yet. Okay, so boom, this is good. Now let's go back here. We might have to refresh. Let's find out. Um, yes. Okay. So damn, I hate refreshing and having to start over. So the lesson is let's make sure that we, um, build our flow first. All right. So, uh, we're going to collect, let's see, what are we doing here? Um, collect lead information. Put the little boop, boop. Um, what does this trigger do? It uh, collects information and then sends X. We're just going to say sends X because I don't know what we're sending them, but all right. What data do we say we're collecting? We're, we're going to collect the first underscore name. We're going to collect the last underscore name, and we are going to collect the user underscore email. And then we're going to pipe that through. How are we saving it? First name is saved to first name. Last name is saved to last name. Email is saved to email. Okay. And then what flow is triggered? The lead info, the one we just built. And we're not going to do anything in the output message because it's part of our flow. Okay. We are ready to rock. Now, what have we done so far? We've connected. We've done our handover protocol. We have gone into our settings and we've put in our master prompt. We're using auto GPT as our default. It's trained on our listing. It's trained on our business. We created a function that we're going to tie into our comment growth tool in a sense. Okay. So are we ready to rock this party? Let's do this. We're going to go to marketing and I'm going to do two things today for this uh, particular client, the real estate client, we're going to do two comment automations for Facebook. We're gonna do one that responds publicly to everything, a generalist, if you will. And then we're gonna do one that is specific to a listing, okay? First, we're gonna do, let's do the, the generalist one. So we're gonna go into our comment automations and click add. This is what I do on my personal Facebook page, um, Stellar Media Marketing. So we're going to call this one Public General. Continue. And then with this one, just like before, we, we got ahead of ourselves. We have, to we have to create the flows for these. So what I like to do is create a new folder. We're going to call this one um, Facebook Comment Automation. Let's, yeah, just CA. I, I like to be organized. You still with me? Yes, I love it. Free neighborhood report. Yeah, whatever you want to give them. Talk to your clients about what are they currently doing. Like if they have something currently that you could just use that, that makes your life easier. If not, there's a lot of things. And we, if we have time today, we could certainly brainstorm some. All right, so we're going to add a flow. Uh, when we're creating comment automations, if the comment automation is only doing public replies, then we only need one flow because we're not sending a private flow. But so in this first example, we only are doing the comment reply. Now you might want to also do a private, maybe because it's your client and you want to do that. That's fine. I'm just doing it the way I do it on my page. I don't necessarily want to send a message on every post because that could get annoying. Yes, you could add a tag. Yes, you could do conditions. I encourage it. I just don't do it on my page because I don't think it's necessary. So in this case, we're going to do it my way because I'm the bus. Um, but if you want a comment growth tool like the listing image, which we're going to do second, you're going to want a public reply flow and a private reply flow. So now we know, let's say we need three flows in the next couple projects. We need a general public, which is the one we're building now. We need a, a listing one public and a listing one private. Okay. So in this first one, before we go to the comment reply tool, we know we need three flows for the two comment replies that we're going to be building. So let's call this one Gen Pub. Gen Pub. <laughs> you don't have to do shorthand like I do. Um, okay, so this is the public reply. 
Because it's a public reply, you do not have to call it the Instagram comment reply. That's only relevant for private replies, okay? So I can keep it omni-channel, it's totally fine. We're gonna add content, we're gonna add an action, we're gonna add open AI, okay? Click on open AI. So we are training this particular AI, this flow, that's going to respond publicly on our business, okay? So we don't wanna give them the full, like there's a lot here about the, the house. We just wanna like, meow, meow, okay, like this. And then um, let's go to our gen pub. We're gonna go here. So you wanna name the assistant the same. Okay, you are Stella, the helpful and friendly assistant to Stellar Real Estate located in Salina, Texas. Stellar. Real estate helps buyers find a home of their dreams in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Your job is to answer questions about um, answer questions about let's say uh, stellar real estate, the Salina, Texas, and surrounding area. Again, I don't have to put all that information in. I want to prove it to you today. Fingers crossed that it performs the way it should. Um, and surrounding towns. And also, mm, ah, that's good enough. And relocation, relocating to the north, let's call it Dallas-Fort Worth. Dallas, mm. DFW, I don't know how much this AI likes me, but let's find out. DFW area. Please answer questions concisely. Remember, that's very subjective. No more than five sentences. We're gonna keep it a little shorter. Let's say no more than four sentences, just because it's public. Uh, the main real estate agent is Kelly Mirabella, who has been a real estate agent for 20 years specialized and specializes in relocation to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Who texted me? Oh. One of my clients. Um, important. We're not going to talk about anything stupid. What else do you think that this thing needs to know? Um, I don't know. We're going to keep it really simple. Obviously, if you want to write more about the area, uh, whatever, do that. Um, we need to, we don't need to do anything with functions. Okay. So save responses to cuss field. This is like the AI. Actually, you know what? We're going to do advanced. Oh, no. Don't do what I just did. God. Do it again. Uh, your job is to answer questions about the company and Salina, Texas, and the surrounding areas, as well as relocation, relocation to the DFW area. Please answer questions concisely. No more than what we say. Four sentences. Main real estate agent. Important. Only speak of information about as it pertains to living and visiting. Okay. So now that I'm happy with that, um, we're going to do advanced. It gives me a little bit more context. So the user's message, we're going to actually change this from last input to should already be built in. Let's find out. Uh, Facebook inbox link. Nope, that's not it. Let's say, where it is it? I know it's already built in. It's like last Facebook, last something. It could be last interaction, last Facebook comment, okay? So the user's information is the last Facebook comment and the AI's response is AI. Let's see what comes up. AI, nothing, really? Making me look, great. I like to do it fast. I don't see uh, AI default message. Doesn't look like it's built in anymore. Changes so quickly, let's add a new one. We're gonna call this one AI response. Continue and AI response. Yep. Okay, so we gotta remember that AI response, it is important. So the response from the AI is going to go into the AI response, okay? Uh, functions, we don't want the function in there. This is the public reply. 
and we're going to click continue. Okay. Now, a lot of you are going to stop here and you're going to test it and it's not going to work. <laughs> Can anyone tell me why? I'm going to tell you why. Because there's no text box. How is it supposed to write text if there's no text box? Okay. So we're going to put a text box. And the only thing you have to include in the text box is the AI comment reply that we just, the AI response. That's what we called it. Yep. I double checked. It has to be the same of whatever you put in here. Okay. That's it. It's done. Publish. Publish it. Publish it. Okay. And we're going to go out. Okay. So that's flow number one. That's for our general thing, but we know that we need two more flows, right? So we're going to do another flow. We're going to go into our special folder. Did we save it in here? Gen pub. There it is. Uh, the next one that we're going to need for our second comment go tool is the listing one public response. And this one is specific to a listing that we're going to post and we want it to respond to those messages. So just like before, we're going to come in, we're going to add an open AI because we want the AI to answer the question. So actions, open AI, click on the open AI. And just like before, we are going to train it. Okay. In this case though, we want to train it on like all the things, right? So file, let's edit, select all the whole dang thing. Cause we wanted to know everything about this listing and that's what's in this whole thing. <sighs> listing one, all of it. Uh, the user's message, we're going to do the last Facebook comment thing again, because it's what it is. Last interaction. It could be last interaction. We're going to say last Facebook comment. And the AI response is going to be AI, AI response. And we do not need a user, uh, connect user to a human, because if you remember correctly, it's a public reply. Um, remember the conversation? Heck yeah, remember that conversation. Do you want to know why? And this is something we're going to talk not extensively, but more on next week when we do multilingual is that I wanted to remember how the comments are being made on publicly when it, when they come into my private message as well, because what that does is that if someone is speaking Spanish on the public post, not only will the AI respond in Spanish, but when it sends a message, the message will be remembered as, oh, they speak Spanish and they will do it in Spanish, which is kind of cool. So we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, continue. Okay. Again, it's not going to work yet. We got to put that text box in. Let me just double check AI response. Okay. So we're going to go add content. Um, we already did the sheets. Someone's still voting sheets. We already did it. Let's do the text box. The text box needs to have the AI response. AI response right there. There it is. Publish, bro, published. That's done. You see, I know. You're like, wait, what? It's that easy? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, actually, you know what? Let's make it not so easy. Let's let's keep this one. Let's change it up. We don't want the AI. Like, again, going back to in the beginning, right? We have the choice here. Do we want the AI to answer all the questions that is asked right here? Or do we want to be like, Hey, we sent you a message with the answer. I think we want to do that. We don't want to give all this information on the public reply. So let's, um, let's just give the basics. Let's take all this out. Um, let's go up here. Let's say you are Stella, the helpful, friendly assistant for Stellar uh, Real Estate. I always want to say Stellar Me Marketing because that's what she really is. Helps buyers find a home of their dreams in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Your job is to answer questions about our latest listings and light farms community at a made-up address. Um, please politely, politely tell the or respond that you have sent, mm, oh, like politely thank them, thank, and why am I typing, them for their question or comment and tell them that you have sent them a message with further information. You can answer basic questions if they are relevant. Otherwise, just let them know you sent the message. 
Okay. I mean, I feel better about that, don't you? Okay, cool. That's cool. Let me save it. Mm, yep. Now we can publish it. Okay, so this is our listing publication public. Check. One more flow. Let's go back to our flows. This one is a little different. Please pay attention to this one. We're going to go into our FBC uh, ad. This one is a listing one private. This one has to be set up a specific way. All right, at the end of the month of March, I'm going to be my last Thursday training of March is going to be on meta regulations and rules. And one of those regulation and rules, and probably the number one reason that the comment automation is not working is you simply do not have it set up correctly based on meta rules. So meta rules dictate that the message, the first message that comes in has to be labeled as a Facebook comment reply. If it's on Instagram, it has to be labeled as an Instagram comment reply. So we're gonna call it a Facebook comment reply, okay? The first node, the first message block is, can only have one block, so I can't be like, we're gonna do text and we're gonna do, um, well, see, it won't let me. <laughs> it's forcing it, but like if I left it on, let's say omni-channel, I could do text and I could do text and I could do an image and all these things. You can't do this with a Facebook comment reply. We can only do one thing and you'll see when I do this, it won't let me add like, an, it can only add an action. The reason is, is that they are not actually opted in. They're not an active contact until they make an action at this point. So before this point, until they make an action, they're just in like purgatory. They're just hovering around in the world, right? So what we need to do is basically do some kind of, um, some kind of opt-in. So what I'd like to do, and I've talked about this before, is I like to do a card and we're gonna put in the same, and actually I have to, mm, I have to make it, make sure it fits, but let's go with Stella. Where are you, Stella? I have so many documents. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Let's see, the house front. This is an AI developed house. Please forgive any issues. All right, so this is our house image, but you know what? I want it to fit. I know, I'm weird like that. Uh, let's go to Canva, my favorite little quickie tool. You guys still with me out there? Has this been helpful so far? I need to know you're alive. Uh, we're going to go with uh, create a design. When I do the interior images, I like to actually, if you're using, um, if you're using Canva, I use a Facebook ad image size like this. And then what we're going to do is go to uploads and we're going to upload our, the front of our house. I don't normally like to do a whole lot of uploading and downloading when I'm live because man, can that mess things up? Whoa, you don't need to see that. Meow. <laughs> Let's go stellar, not taxes. Uh, Facebook cover, house front. Okay, let's upload this bad boy. Yup, I got a yup. Someone's still here. Um, let's pop this in here. That's That's pretty good. Okay, so basically what I like to do, let's download it is when I do a comment reply, I like to give some reference. I like a visual cue. Uh, let's call this front message image. Is it going in the right place? It is. So now we're gonna go over to our build, back over here, and I'm gonna upload this image. I'm gonna go to front message image because it's gonna fit, it's gonna look good. Because our post is actually gonna be of this house. That way when they get the message like, oh, that's because of that visual cues, right? You can do that. Uh, we're going to call this, um, and, uh, I don't know. What do you, you don't even have to say anything for title. Uh, well, I mean, we should. So we're going to say, um, are you ready to learn about this BA youth? Mm. Beautiful home located in Light Farms, in Salina, Texas. It always spells Salina wrong. In the Light Farms. Let's see if I can fit all this in here. Community. All right. Okay, so then we need a button. And that button is like a heck yeah. Yes, please. Save. 
And then this will go to whoop, an Omni. We're going to do from this point, I'm just going to have my AI do all the heavy lifting. Click in just like before. We could do at this low well, now I want to do uh, generate advanced. And this is where we're going to put our full prompt. This is where we want the AI to know everything because they, at this point the AI is answering all the questions. So just so you see, wah, 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 wah. it's all there. It's sloppy. I'm not going to lie. Yours should be better than mine. Um, the last user input is going to be their comment reply. We want it to sync up. So we're going to say uh, Facebook last comment. Okay. And then our response is going to be AI response. We're going to go ahead and keep the contact a user function. Plus we're going to add our collect lead information. You remember setting that up, right? Because we want the AI to be like, yo, you know what? Maybe we're going to help these people out. All right. And do we want to remember the, qu the conversation? Heck yeah. In fact, let's go up here and just let Stella here know one more thing. Please always respond in the language the user the user uses. Sure, whatever. Thanks. Continue. Publish. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. What do you think? First and foremost, can we update the name of this to um, AI response? And then you don't have to do that, but that's just a personal thing. We need to add the text. This is why it doesn't work, right? If, if we don't put the right things, then it won't work. And it has to be to the, the same as this. And what did we have here? AI response, continue, AI response. Now it will work. Okay, all flows are created. We have a flow for all our comment tools. So let's go back out to flows. Let's make sure we don't have any yellows real quick. I don't want yellows because yellows mean no yellow dots, good. We're gonna go to marketing. I'm ready, it's exciting. All right, uh, Facebook, we're gonna go, I mean, I could put it in this folder, why not? Well, no, we have a public general, let's set that up. So public general, let's go in there. This is the one that's just gonna answer all questions. So we're gonna call all post, private reply. In this case, I'm not gonna do a private reply, but you absolutely can. My suggestion is if you do a private reply to like, this is this comment grow tool is gonna answer questions that come to any post on this page unless we have a specific chat automation for a specific post, okay? Because then that one overrides. So if someone's like commenting anything on our page, this is gonna respond. We don't always wanna send a message. That can get annoying. So if you do set it up to send a flow, that flow should be checking if this person's already been, you know, in your flow in the past week or something, right? We don't wanna like over inundate. Like there is absolutely value in sending messages to people who are commenting especially if you're doing this for clients, but just make sure you're doing it smart because you do not want to annoy people. Just don't, don't. All right, public reply is a flow. We created it, gen pub, right? Reply to all comments. If you want to do a keyword, I mean, you can. Comment equal to, comment contains. We're going to do all comments because that's what we're doing. It's responding to everything. More options. Are there words you want to exclude? You as uh, one of the benefits of someone hiring you to maintain your AI is if you set one of these up and you keep this empty, but as you maintain, you're like watching their Facebook page. And you're like, whoa, that is unnecessary language, sir, right? <laughs> like I did a post for one of my clients and it was like, what is the hardest meat to smoke? They sell smokers and grills. And man, people were putting some not so appropriate words. So I had to go in. So one of the benefits of you being paid to manage this is you can go in and update it as things come up. You could be like, don't let them say these words, right? And then hide comments with these words, like if they're using profanity. I'm going to keep it blank for now. Um, only reply to new contacts. Now, this is another way that you could send a flow to everyone. Like if they are not in there yet, you could send it, right? But I'm not going to do that. I wanted to manage all the messages because this is going to help my client's engagement go up. It's really a great tool. Um, only once to each user in one post. That's up to you. I have it set so it's supposed to respond to all the comments. I'm going to keep it off. Like the user, comment. Heck yeah, let's like it. Reply to the users who have already commented in other posts. Yes. Don't, I mean, this again, these are ways you can kind of filter out how you want to do it. Uh, reply to users. Uh, don't reply to replies to comments. So right now I have it set. So if someone comments, someone replies, the AI is not going to reply. 
because that can get confusing. This is very d dependent on the post that you're working on as well as the client. So I might want, maybe someone's like, tag Sid Sydney, you're gonna love this. And then Sydney comes in and comments, oh my gosh, it's a beautiful house. But if I have this checked, then I'm not responding to Sydney, I'm responding to the first person. So maybe I wanna turn it off. I'll be like, let's just get into it, okay? Track if the user tags other users. Yeah, let's do that. Um, use the total tag to find out how many users was tagged. Use the total new tag to know how many people that aren't list of contacts have been tagged. A lot of cool things here. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to say, sure, why not? All right, this is very important. Reply after. Uh, for our purposes right now, I'm going to say immediately. But if I, just because I want to test it and I don't want to wait. But if I am setting this up for myself, a client, an active page, I am almost always going to do random within three minutes. The reason we do that is to protect ourselves, protect our pages, protect our clients. This is especially important on Instagram if you're working with influencers or on posts that might go viral. You've probably seen in like, if you're in the Facebook uh, uh, legacy platform community, people are like, oh my gosh, I had a post go uh, viral and then half my, my messages didn't work or Meta sent me a message suspending my account for a week. It's in the middle of a launch. This is crazy. You know, they're freaking out. Um, there's a lot of reasons that could happen. The main reasons are that, again, like we already talked about, they are using kind of like standard messages that are just going to the same, the same messages. Even if there's like slight variation, it, that's not going to work. And it's so fast. That's the other reason. That's what we're talking about here. It's going so fast. It's like immediate. That doesn't seem very human-like. That seems very spammy. So we want to gauge that. I'm going to say, generally, I go random within three minutes. So within three minutes, randomly, my bot is going to respond. That's usually what I do. But if I am working with an influencer or someone, especially on Instagram, that might get like a lot, I might do random within five, just to make sure. If you find that you know you start with random in three and th it goes viral all of a sudden and you want to switch it, just go in and switch it. It's fine. We're going to do immediately just for our purposes today. But typically, I would not suggest immediately. All right, save. So this is for any post on that page. This is the step I always forget, especially because I, I build on my phone. I build these comment growth tools on my phone. I'm like, yay, it's done. And then it doesn't work. And I'm like, why is it not responding? It's because of this. Got to turn that bad boy on. OK, so now our gen comment growth tool set up. Now we need to do a listing comment growth tool. So let's go in here. Ah, name. We're going to call this listing one. You know what we need to do? Let's go to, um, let's, let's do this. Let's resize, magic resize. We're here. Why not? Let's make it a square. I like a good square. Uh, let's just resize this design. It's going to resize it. Wah, 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 wah. We're going to make this fit Boop. like so and like so. And then, you know what we need? We need some text. Let's add a text box. And let's say, um, let's say, welcome home. Or now showing. Let's do that. Now showing. And we'll do that here. I'm not going to make this super pretty. So don't think this is how I normally do my posts. Listen, I'm actually very good at my job. <laughs> This ain't it, but we're in a hurry. Uh, let's just throw a, a subheading down here and let's do um, comment to any question to learn more. Um, let's, let's do not any questions, say your questions. Yep, questions to learn more. All right, that looks good. You know what, I feel like as much as I know that I'm not trying to make it super pretty, I'm a perfectionist and it's really hard for me. Let's just do something like this and oh, something like this. And let's like, oh, oh, that looks so much nicer. Okay. You guys, I'm spending way too much time on this. Okay. So we have our little post, right? This, oh, no, come back. This white thing needs to be above the roof line so it looks better. You get the idea. Make this white like the color of your brand. I don't know what your brand is, but do something like this. Use your brand fonts. Do it. Make it look nice. Um, we can even make this a little darker. Oh, I know. You are you guys are like, get on with it. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's download it. 
Let's just make a G JPEG. You guys good? We're going to have some fun now. Then I'm going to let you test it. By the way, next week we're building fast AI chatbots that are multilingual. All right, let's go to Facebook. Get ready to rock this party to our page. We're already in our page. Um, just throw this bad boy here. Oh, I don't know. Can I do that? Nah, I didn't do what I wanted. Close it. Click this now. Oops. You guys are seeing how I do, like, literally how I do my client's work. <laughs> Except on a high-speed, very sloppy way of doing it. My goodness, Kelly. My goodness. Let's go here. Let's go, um, Stellar, Sequel State, Title. Write a Facebook caption about our latest listing located in Salina, Texas, in the beautiful Light Farms community. Let people know that they can ask questions and we will respond with answers to help them discover this home and make it theirs. All right, it's gonna write my caption for me because I don't feel like it. GPT-4 is so slow though. Mm. It's probably done, let's see. Explore the elegance of light forms living in every time Salina. See, it says Salina. We'll have to change that. Discover the charm of the new listing nestled in the heart of the coveted light forms. A stunning home boasts a hum, hum, humanist blend of, ugh, I don't like any of these. Let's, uh, let's do it, but let's take some stuff out. That's okay, too. Let's go to Facebook. Let's add it. Let's maybe get rid of some emojis. And it's not Salina. Salina. Discover the charm of our newest, uh, I don't really like calling it listing, but whatever. Um, how about newest home offering? Nestled in the heart of the coveted Light Farms community. This stunning home bows, we're going to take all that out. Have questions. I want to keep it pretty simple. I don't want it to be too long because the big thing that we want is people to ask questions. Have questions. Here, we're here to provide the answers that will to guide you you through each step of making this dream home your own ask away and let's embark on the exciting journey together um sure sure okay so we're ready to rock that party uh let's go ahead and do this we are going to set this up uh private reply is the flow that we built for private reply right what is it called where is it i don't even see it bro it's because I'm in the wrong. That was the one that we had open. Okay, listing one, continue. Um, flow, private reply. There it is. Uh, listing, private reply. You have to line these up. I do this sometimes too. If it doesn't work, always check that you have the right one set. Private, public reply, flow, public, listing one, public. Okay, we're going to do all comments. We're going to go in here, do all the things you want to do. Just like before, I want to like their comments. That's fine. This is fine. We're going to leave it open. Um, currently, we're going to do immediate same reasons as before. It's going to work. Uh, we currently have it on all posts. All, bleh, all posts. We actually want it on specific posts. So I'm just going to. Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Post it. Just publish original posts. No, I'm not. I'm not doing an event. <laughs> Facebook always trying to make my life hard. All right, there's the post. Now we're in here. Specific post, select. There it is. Continue. Save. You guys ready to test this bad boy out? How do you want to? Oh, look, I forgot. What I forget? Come on, Kelly. Don't do that to me. All right, you want to test it out. Here is the page link. I'm going to give it to you in the chat. And you guys can head on over there. I obviously have no idea to know what the heck it's going to do, but let me also make you a QR code because why not? 
Uh, let's go to, well, I want you to go to the page, honestly. Like, that's where I need you to go to test it. Can I just do the link? I don't know if those are clickable. There you go. Try it out. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Shall we test it? Let's test it. We're going to go back to Facebook. I, so here's the thing. You want to test it yourself? You totally can. You just can't as your own self. Okay, so we need to go back to our, back to ourselves. Like we can't do it as the page, right? And we're going to search for stellar real, mm, real estate test page. Mm. I might just use the link I sent you, but here we go. All right. So I'm going to go to the page and I make sure you see my little face there. That's my face. Uh, can you tell me what the HOA, HOA cost is and how much it is per month? You know what I should add it is Light Farms, um, I should ask this question and see if it answers. Light Farms has a uh, MUD. It's like a metro district. It's no fun. Oh, boom. It's, it's already responded to me. Are you ready to learn about the beautiful home located at Yes. Yes, I am. Can you see this? Is this big enough for you guys? It's responding to me. The HOA fee for the Light Farms community is $125 a month. Correct. This fee covers front yard maintenance, trash pickup. Correct, correct. Recycling service. Correct. And access to the amenities like fitness center, community pools, and park. Let's see what this does. Um, does Light Farm have a mud It does not have a mud. It actually does. So we need to we need to train that, right? So we're gonna go in to our flow. So now we know, right? This is why we test. Uh, we want to make sure that we've trained it correctly. Actually, at this point, just so that you know what's happening, uh, once I ask this question, now it's gone into my default message. So in order to correct this. I want to correct it in two places. First and foremost, I want to correct it in the knowledge base for the listing because I know that it might be asked on the post. And if it's asked on the post, then we want to make sure that it's giving the correct answer. So we're going to say, you know, where we talk about light farms. Fire pits, salt water, amenities, HOA. Uh, let's, let's go ahead, community atmosphere. Let's go ahead and put it before the Q&A right here um, light farms does have a mud so you should talk to your agent about uh, let's call it, let's say talk to your lender about how this can affect your loan payment Okay, that's good enough. Um, oh, wait, you know what? Let's copy that so I don't have to type it over again. Meow. Copy. Continue. Let's go ahead and hit publish again. So that was from the listing. Now we're going to head back over to our settings. So anytime you want to make um, updates, make sure you make them in the right place. You do have to use your brain sometimes. Sometimes the AI can't do it all. And so we're going to add it here wherever I did it over by the Q and A's before, didn't I? Right here, right? Continue and that's good. Okay, so now we're all up to date. Did you guys test this out yet? Let's go see what's what, what is what. Let's see how it responded to me here. Response. All right, so we have two comments. That means I'm the only one commenting. That's fine. You guys don't want to play along. All right, can you tell me the HOA? Thank you for your question. I have sent you a message with further information about the HOA costs and monthly fees for the property 234 Lightway in Salina. Please check your inbox for details. So that worked out great. And oops, don't look in those messages. Um, what else can I say? Let's, let's test this again. Um, what school district is this home in? Do, 
do it. There it is. I was waiting for it to pop up. All right, so yes, please. Let's see what it says. Oh, it texts highly desirable prosper independent school district. That is correct. Offering access to top rated schools. If you have any more questions, let us know. Um, I want to set up an uh, appointment. I don't have it set up for this, so I don't think it's going to work. But hopefully at this point, the function, the idea here is the function would kick in. But honestly, I don't have it set up correctly for that. I have connected you to a human agent. All right, so that's fine because it's going to send me a notification that it's been connected to a human agent and the human agent takes over. Now, on the back end of this, what we could do is we can go to our, um, we need to do something here, right? So we need to give away, what time is it? Oh, you know what? I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys a choice here. Okay, so you've seen the main thing that I wanted to show you today is this listing, um, this messaging setup right? The other thing that you, we can do, um, we can have another choose your own adventure. At this point, I'm going to give you an option because I only have time for one more thing. We can set up kind of an open house QR code situation. I think Ryan might've explained this in his video. This is an idea I've had for a while where essentially people can come into your open house. There's a QR code that says, you know, explore this home and the neighborhood. And it can answer questions about the HOA. It can answer questions about the home. It can set up um, you know, a, some kind of drip campaign, which we wouldn't have time for today to like set up an appointment to do more listings, all those sort of things. Or I can show you how I would create a quick guidebook, set up the function and deliver a function that collects their, we already set up the function, so this would be pretty easy, um, that collects their first name, last name and email, and then gives them a, let's say, uh, relocation guide to the Salina area. You have exactly one minute to vote. QR code set up, or let me show you how to make a guidebook delivery, relocation guide delivery lead capture. Do, 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 do. Let's see. We got a, a guidebook, guidebook vote. I think this is a QR code vote. I'm gonna need y'all voting. I don't wanna waste my time. I kinda wanna do the guidebook, honestly. Lost me at function. Yeah, the function. You're gonna wanna know how to do that because that's how you capture leads. It's very, very nifty. The AI is gonna ask for the, the lead information for you. Guidebook, guidebook, yes! You guys are choosing the right option. All right, let's go do it. So let's pretend for a second that I wanna create a guidebook. Let's do it. Oops. I'm not a big chat GPT-4 fan for this particular thing. So we're going to click into 3.5 because I think, I think it's going to know everything I need it to know. I want to create a one page relocation guidebook for people moving from out of the state into the North Texas Salina area. I spell it right. I would like you to outline this guide, focusing on the things that someone would need to know about the area if they were considering relocating from out of state. Everyone wants the guidebook. I love your style. Oof. Oof. Get it. Okay, so we have uh, overview of Salina, brief history, location, climate. Go ahead and write this guidebook for me. You guys. It's almost too easy. You know you could do this as a service to your clients, right? Like you don't even have, you could be like, nah, I'm going to, I'm going to create, what did I do the other day? I gave you guys, you know, I'm dropping some major bombs in the CBB Facebook group. If you haven't been in there lately, I've been sharing, um, like literally branded names you can use objection covering. Anyways, I would call this like lead my real estate, uh, lead accelerator service. And in this service, I'm going to create 
a guide for you targeted to your audience that's gonna help us build your lead database. And I'm gonna use AI to power your lead. We're gonna accelerate your leads with AI, right? And so um, this is a service I'm gonna offer my client. And by doing that, all I'm gonna do is create this freaking gorgeous guidebook, right? Here's my guide. Welcome home. And I can go to Canva and I can like do a, you know what, I have a template. Let's just, or we could just go up here, like so easy. Uh, real estate guide. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, oh that's pretty. Mm, let's just look up like a guidebook. This one, I like this one. Let's just do this. Customize it. Okay, so. We're going to be like, so you're moving to Salina. Oh, and then we're going to be like, your relocation guide. And then we'll be like, uh, stellar real estate put their little logo in there somewhere use their colors you know all the good things let's make this bigger so it looks a little bit better i don't like it underlined either that looks weird all right next page we gotta put another page we're gonna go over here to gpt and we're gonna do a little i think you guys get the idea right oh you know what no yeah like this we gotta use what they got what they gave us because it looks good and we're going to make it smaller so it fits me to Salina. Okay, text was like that. And then we need to put some copy in here, the introduction. Welcome to Salina. You would also want to put information about like your, your client. Like we are the number one real estate, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, put some text in here. Oh, no, that will not do. No. No. Obviously, make it look good, y'all. And obviously, this isn't going to work. I like, I want to read this way. <laughs> Promise you, once you get going, once you have like a template, man, I live and breathe a, a guidebook. Man, don't I love a guidebook. Uh, this is a great question. Adam, I'm going to get to you. I promise. That's a good question. Okay. Uh, overview of Salina. Let's, let's make this look a little bit different. I know I'm going to spend way too much time on this. I apologize. We don't have time for that. So let's just keep it going. All right. Uh, the next one, this is all too big, but that's okay. Next section is housing and the neighborhood. Look, this is actually like, obviously read through it, but this is true. Explore neighborhoods like Light Farms. Yes. Mustang Lake. Yes. Carter Ranch. Yes. All of those are located in Salina. Absolutely true. And then um, we're going to make this smaller so we could fit a little bit more. This is obviously not going to end up being a one-page guidebook because it is what it is. Education. I think we could fit two more in. What do you think? Make it your own. Do what you want. Um, 14, I think, is what we went with. I think we could fit more. Why not? Just trying to make it a one-page guide. Healthcare services. You guys are going to want to move to my hometown. Seriously. It's that good. Transportation, recreation, leisure. Whatever you want to include in the guide, um, do that. Make the guide look pretty. Charge your clients for this service. Why wouldn't you? Like, this is something that you can do for your clients, and I bet you they would love you for it. How easy was that? Now, if I were doing this for a client, I might make this slightly different. Like, I would be like, my, you know, I would do, like, something general like this, and then I'd have a section like, our recommendations, like, our favorite restaurants, you know, our favorite place to buy books. I don't know, whatever you're into. So because that's already formatted, this rest of this is going to be really easy. So we're going to just copy and paste this next section pretty quick. Copy, 
put it in, highlight it, whoop, all this. You like my, when I give you guys the sound effects, isn't that fun? All right, I don't like the word conclusion. And then I might do something like, um, write a paragraph thanking people for grabbing your relocation guide and letting them know that Stellar Real Estate and Kelly Mirabella are here to help them make their move a smooth transaction into the home of their dream. Thank you for choosing our relocation guide, blah, blah, blah. Sounds great. Whatever. Let's put it in. And then we're like, call us. So we'll have like phone. I would usually do like a little phone icon, but I'm in a hurry. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Unlike Ryan, I don't want y'all calling me. I got kids. I don't have time for that. Um, email. You email me though. Kelly at stellar 247.com don't email me support questions i am not cbb support we have an excellent support system you get what i'm saying all right kids and adults in the crowd we have ourselves a beautiful guidebook let's go ahead and there's a lot of ways we could do this i use simple book many of you have seen it it's very cool and it will collect the emails for me but we're not gonna do that uh we're gonna do it j let's see we need a jpeg or not JPEG, PDF, standard, download it. Um, so our guidebook is complete. And while that downloads, I'm going to answer this question. So this public response, let me say that real quick, public response flow and private, sorry, it's like cut off, and private flow are working only per comment. Then it switches to default. So what happens is the way I have my flow set up in the back end is a one block flow. So once the block answers the question and does its part, that's when the default message, which is, so like if I say, um, let's go in here, look at our flow. So like the private reply, this is set up so that it's gonna answer their question. This AI is trained on answering that question. And then if I wanted to, I could do chain, uh, AI chain prompting. So I could be like, okay, after they, after that, maybe I have them go here or something. But I find it simpler to just leave it, let this be this, like this is the entire flow. And so when I ask the question, let's see if it's still up. It's not, of course not, here we go. When I asked the question, it answered my question. I said, yes, please. It gave me the property information. I said, I want an appointment. Then it, then it jumps, after this point, it jumps into the default message. So I can continue asking questions uh, can you tell me more about Salina, Texas? This is where the default message is trained and it's going to respond. It might, it might not respond in this case because it's been switched over to a, um, a human representative. So I'd have to switch it back. But at this point, if it wasn't switched to a human representative and I asked the question, it would respond based off of what I have in the default message. So that's why it's important that your default message is trained, right? So let's go into where were we? Uh, we have to create a flow for this, uh, or we need to go into our default message, and we need to let our default message know, hey, we need you to do these things because we want to capture information. So in my integrations, in my prompt engineering, in my edit, my settings, we're going to open this up, and we're going to say something to the effect of important. Whoops. If the client is relocating from out of state, please ask if they would like our free relocation guide. Ask them for, if yes, man, I hope this works. This takes a lot of testing. I don't have time to test it today because I got to go take care of kids stuff. If this, if they say yes, they want the relocation guide, please ask them for their first name, last name, and email address so we can send them the guide. You should also say something to the fact of like, we need 
you need all the information in order to send the guide. Okay, let's start with that, see what happens. All right, we have to go update our function. We also need to add the function here. Okay, so lead information, the one we built, we're gonna go update it to continue. So this is our main prompt. Our main prompt has been instructed that if they seemingly are relocating, we're gonna say, yo, you want this? Now let's go to our functions. We, earlier today, if you've missed it, we created a function called collect lead information. We're gonna go in and edit that. So collect lead information. We're gonna actually rename this to relo, relocation underscore guide. What does this do? Then send, uh, allows the user to get a relocation guide after providing their name and email address. Relocation. Yes, yes, yes. Send lead info. Continue. Now we're going to go update our flow that we did earlier because we obviously now have something to give them. Lead info. All right. So remember, if you were here earlier, if not, watch the replay. The first step was we were going to send them to our Google Sheets, which we set up right here. This is our Google Sheets to here. Um, so that's the first step. So they get asked the questions, sends the info, and then what? So we actually are going to delete this and what? And we are going to do a couple things. We could do a couple things here. We could deliver the lead magnet right here. We could set up a zap that sends it through our, um, C our uh, ESP, email service provider. That's what I would do. Typically, I personally, I would do one of two things, but I'm going to show you the third thing because it's the easiest. I would put my stuff in simple book because that's what I use. Those of you who have seen my guidebooks, you know this is what I use. And the cool thing about simple book is that th it collects the information for me and I can sell my guidebooks. So many of you have seen stuff like this where like last week we did um, a ton of guides and you can get access to this like pain point guide and it has all this cool stuff, right? But it's a really nice looking thing and it generally has, um, like if, you, if I shared this and you went to go get it, it would have like a lead capture. So in this case, if that were what I would do in that case, I would say, um, hey, here, thank you so much for signing up. Click here and go get it. But then why would I ask for their email twice, right? So we already have their email, so we wanna deliver it. So the other thing I could do here, which again, I'm not gonna do because I actually have a video right now on my YouTube channel to show you how to do this exact thing I'm gonna tell you, is I would connect Zapier I would send the email, first, the first name, last name, email to my constant contact to a specific list that is attached to an autoresponder that sends them the guide and puts them into a drip campaign. Personally, that's probably what I'm gonna do because I think having, and this is a huge benefit, if you can set up a drip campaign, like an entire funnel for your clients, you're just able to charge more. You're giving huge benefit and you're able to charge more. Or in this case, we're gonna keep it real simple. We sent the lead generate the lead information to Google Sheets, and we're just going to deliver the guide at this point. Okay, so what I could do here is I could either just write text, and I'd be like, "Thank you so much. Here's your guidebook," or I could do something like um, have the AI be like, "You know, thank you so much. Here's your guidebook," and just like mix it up. Uh, the setup for the AI to do it is similar to what we've done before. Uh, we're going to keep it simple. I am running out of time today. Um, it's very easy to run out of time doing these lives, unfortunately, but there's still a lot of benefit. So we're going to just say text in this case, and I'm going to say thank, mm, thank you, first name, uh, for your information. Here is that relocation guide book. Please let us know if you have any questions or would like more information about homes for sale in the DFW and Salina, Texas area. Okay. Um, we could do a button or we can also just say um, attach something, right? Here's a file attach this file. Uh, you can do it as an insert link. It's probably better to do it as an insert link and host it somewhere else. But in this case, I don't have time. So we're just gonna put it in here. Hopefully it's not too big and it'll work. It might slow you down a little bit, but it shouldn't be a huge deal. All right, so here we go. Uh, 
I mean, it should work. Should. It should. It should work. <laughs> I don't know if it will, but it should. All right. <coughs> let's, <coughs> excuse me, let's test it. Um, mm, 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 I need to go to the welcome message. Where is that? Here we go. Uh, let's see. Let's preview it. Let's just preview through web chat because that's the easiest. All right. Welcome to Stellar Real Estate. How can I assist you today? Hi, I'm considering moving to the Salina area from Colorado. And I would love to know how you can help me with that. Hello, I can provide you with information about the latest listings. If you're relocating from our state, we also offer a free location guide. This is it. All right. Hello, I can provide you with information about our latest listings in Salina, Texas, and answer any questions you may have about the area. If you're relocating from out of state, we also offer a free location guide to help you get acquainted with the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Would you like to receive this guide? Heck yeah, I would. Actually, yeah, the relocation guide sounds great. Give it to me. Let's see if Stella does what she's supposed to. Thank you, John. What? What? <laughs> I'm not John. What happened? Let's go to our flows. Let's go to settings. We obviously have a problem here, right? So we need to go into our, well, first and foremost, I know where one of the problems might be. Well, let's start with our main problem. You know what I want to do at this point? I want to turn off our auto GPT. I want to go to general. I want to say our default reply is default reply advanced. We're going to save. We're going to go to our flows. We're going to go to default replies. Default reply advanced. Holy mackerel, that is not what I wanted. That's too much. That's doing too much, bruh. Doing too much. Let's see. These are all built in. I just don't ever know what I'm going to find. That's the one I want. Okay, this is the one we're going to do. Um, let's go in and train it. Functions. We need to make sure we include the relocation guide. And uh, purpose. You are here. I love this. Look at this. Do you guys know that what just happened? Ryan just did this to make your life easier. You're here to answer questions uh, from your customers or potential customers. The current time and date are in the case of a user message about the time people. As an AI assistant, you may be assisting people on web chat, social media, uh, support to account name. That's the page name, persistency. Keep your messages concise and use one to two sentences maximum. We're going to let ours go for sentences maximum. Here are some examples. And then we would put our examples in. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this bad boy out. We are going to go to, uh, actually, what we can do. Yeah, let's just do this. Put this in. You are Stella. Da da da. da. Important. Let's go over here. Profile. You are Stella. Da da da. Important purpose. You are here to answer questions. That's fine. People assist you. Web chat. That's fine. We can take that out. We already have it. Um, we already have this as well, so we could take persistency out. That's part of my thing. Um, we already have this. And then we're going to give examples. So let's just give her all the info here. Rest the info. Submit. Now we have to make sure our, our relocation function is correct. So let me just really quick, because I don't feel like retyping it. Man, I'm sure my kids are downstairs going, Mom, we want to go to the arcade. Let's go. Bear with me. We're going to try to get through this. Settings. Integrations. Prompt engineering. Edit. What did I say? Important. Sometimes what we need to do, what I should have done, let's go back to the top. If the client is re re relocating, 
out of state, please ask if they would like a free location guide. If yes, please ask them for their first name, last name, and email address so we can send them the guide. Never make this information up on your own. The user must supply this information. Sometimes, and I'd have to really look into my, um, my thing, um, I'll also say something to the effect of use function relocation underscore guide to collect this information. Let's find out. I'm going to just copy that real quick. Continue. Publish. We have to make some changes, so bear with me. Let's go back to our flows. Let's go back to our settings. Let's go into default reply, and we decided to go with the default reply simple. Save. We got to go into our inbox because it thinks I'm John right now, and I am not John right now. We're going to send a flow, and we are going to clear this conversation. Anytime you're testing, it's always good practice to clear the conversation. Did it work? supposed to confirm. Maybe that's not in there now. It's okay. We're going to just delete the contact and start fresh. I just don't have time to even worry about it. So let's do that. Okay. Back over to our flows. Hopefully this works because I really am out of time today, unfortunately. Let's go to our default replies. Actually, I, wa I always want to start at welcome because I want you to be able to see from like the, the initial stage, right? Our welcome flow. We could change the welcome flow too. You could always go in there and be like, this is how I want you to welcome people. <laughs> hey, I am moving to the area from Colorado and I'd love some more information about how you might be able to help me. Welcome. If you're interested, we also offer a free location guide. Okay. Yes, I want the guide. Yes, please. I want the guide. I don't have time to fix this right now. Why does it keep calling me John? Throw. Can anyone tell me why it keeps calling me John? <laughs> Someone keeps saying, many chat is not working. Can you please help me? Yeah, stop using many chat. I don't, I don't even waste my time on mini chat anymore. Um, why is it calling me John? Why? I'm not John. Why is it calling me that? <laughs> I need to go look at my function and see what is happening. Integrations. Prompt engineering, first of all. Let's update this one right real quick. Like, Same one, relocating this one. Paste that in there. <laughs> Do not make up this information. That's not nice. More options just to make sure. Continue. I don't know where else I can be fixing this. Manage. Let's be like, yo, my name's not John. Look at this, though. Everything else is working just fine, except it's creating information in my in my stead. Relocation guide. First name, first name, last name, last name. Send the information. Allows the user to, uh, to get a reloc after providing their name and email address. Their first name. Let's just say their information. Just a nice one right there. Continue. Why, pray tell, is it not working? That's my husband going, can we go have lunch now? Because this is getting ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> okay, let's try something else. Sometimes you got to tinker with it. I don't use functions very often. And when I did, it's like, it's done. It's set up. <laughs> Check the custom fields. Uh, 
did it it never asked for my name no it did not ask for my name that's true i, I should check the custom fields but real quick let's just say my name is not john let's see what it does no problem we're ready to see please provide me with your first name last name email address i'll be happy to send it to you in the meantime feel free to ask questions okay cool um my name is sue noble See, it's not, it's not requesting everything. I mean, it's grabbing the information, but it absolutely needs to get my email. Although it probably still thinks that this, that it's John's email. Let's go see what happened. <laughs> it just is making stuff up. <sighs> I really don't have time to troubleshoot this right now. That's okay. Uh, prompt engineering. Let's go in here and see what's going on. We will check our functions too, but important if the client is re relocating from out of state please ask if they would like our free guide if they say yes they want the relocation guide please ask them for their first name last name and email address so we can send them a guide never never make this information up on your own the user must supply the the information we need all information in order to send the guide use the function relocation i don't know how else to say it Honestly, let's go look at our function. See, even we, even I have problems. And if I had a problem, I'd go to the Discord community and be like, yo, guys, I need some help. My prompt is jacked. Let's edit. First name, first name, last name, last name, user email, email. Let's just change this to email just to keep it simple. I don't think that makes a difference. Allows the user to get a reloc relocation guide after providing their information. Continue. I'm not sure why this is not working. I feel like it's going to be something very simple. And once I figure it out, I'll be like, oh, Kelly. Stupid, 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 stupid. Right? It's the way it is. This is part of it. Even us pros. Relocation guide, it's there. Mm. I don't think this is going to make a difference. We don't want him making up information. Let's clear it. Start over. You got to test it till it's right. Can you check the steps to see what message is sent? Oh, yeah, I could have, but I just deleted it. So let's start over. Let's go to close actually what I should do is start at the Facebook page level right right here trans oh sorry this is not for you guys over here okay let's well actually I don't want to do that um welcome I love that you guys are troubleshooting with me in the comments it's super helpful thank you uh let's go to preview this in the web chat and be like, yo, what's up, Gilly? How can I assist you today? Hey, I heard you guys had a relocation guide. Can I get that? Just jump right into it. I gotta go feed my kids. I can provide you with that. Can you put ah! can you please provide me with your first name, last name, and email address? I sure can. My name is Sue Noble, and my email is Sue at Sue.com. Not a real email, you guys. Do not email poor Sue at Sue.com. <laughs> Thank you, Sue, for your information. Here's the relocation guide. There's the guide. Click to download. Open the guide. There's our guide. It's going to be so pretty. There it is. Thank you so much. Let's go check our thing. Sue Noble at Sue sue.com okay so basically what happens i had to update it but i was lazy and i didn't refresh the chat and it was still remembering john and so it just like jacked up so we fixed it and there it is the fix essentially was just to tighten up our uh, function tighten up our prompt it always is a prompt issue it like almost always comes down to prompting um, and then also when you're testing always like clear the chat 
don't get lazy like I was because then you're in the situation that I was in and it's so embarrassing. Y'all, I've been on for way too long. My kids are probably hungry. I promise family time. It's spring break. My husband took the day off. My mother-in-law's in town. It's time. Uh, if you want to play around with the bot, it will be active for the next three days. It is a trial account. Feel free to go to the page. I'll put it in the chat again real quick. You guys go play with it. Test it. Tell me what you think. This is the real estate bot. If you have follow-up questions, I'm always in the Discord. Um, and I'm also in the CBB, the Chatbot Builder community on Facebook. If you're watching this and you're like, I need help with ManyChat, stop. Listen, ManyChat, their support sucks. They don't even have faith in their own chatbots to have one on their own website. So you guys need to switch. You need to come on over to CBB, join the revolution. That's where it's at. I do have some really cool resources for you today. Not as many as last week. Let me put that in the chat, but I will also share these in the Facebook group as well as the Discord after the recording renders. And these include a build an AI chatbot uh, guidebook that helps you build your first AI chatbot. I think the only step that's missing is the, the handover. So make sure you do the handover. And then also the step-by-step -step for, here's what it looks like. Let me show you real quick. For the comic growth tool, it's just like literally a step-by-step -step, and I show you how to do it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Look at that. Yes. No. <laughs> um, so I give you everything you need. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Next week, I'm going to teach you how to do a, we're just going to have fun basically, but we're going to build a quick, which it's never quick, but we're going to build a fun, quick, uh, multilingual chatbot. I think we're either going to do a wine bar or a coffee shop. I want to, I'm thinking like, I want to build like a wine simonier or a coffee expert. I kind of like the coffee expert because I love coffee. I like wine too, but um, I, I've done the wine shop before. That's why I say, we'll see. It's going to be one of those. We're going to do it quick. I'm going to show you how fast we can build a chatbot, And we're going to talk about simplifying your concepts because I do think a lot of people, as I mentioned before, we overcomplicate things. And you can see it's already complicated enough, bro. <laughs> we have to get our prompting right. It all comes down to the prompt. Um, the community is a fantastic resource. If you're new, we have tons of resources. Just ask. It never hurts to ask. We're here to help you. And come on over. The, the AI chatbot game is strong at chatbotbuilder.ai. You will not, hands down, guarantee it, willing to put my brand on it, my name on it. You will not find a better AI-powered chat automation builder bar none nobody makes it as easy like if we did these builds in say many chat or a legacy platform you would have had to pull external apis and you'd have to pay for like third-party apps and you'd have all these little connections and if something broke oh heavens it would not be good okay so check it out chatbotbuilder.ai ask your questions in the facebook group ask your questions in discord over and out i gotta go hang out with my fam and i'll see you guys on the flip bye y'all